Anyway, happy Sunday. This is Gimpy the Demon Slayer. We are currently still in the oh, Great Garrison. is spelled with an A. I thought it was spelled G R E A. Hmm, I'm gonna make a change there, don't I? I thought I could have sworn that was spelled with a G R E A. Now I feel bad. I always spell gray wrong. Just a second. Or do I spell it right? I don't know. Which way is the, the, the English way? What, what, am I Eng I'm sorry. Which way is the British way? And which way is the correct way? It's A, right? See, I just assumed it was going to be, you know, E. But it's A. I could have swore everywhere I find it on the internet it's spelled with an E. Anyway. Super important. Important starts. Stuff of life. The, the proper spelling of the word gray. I'm pretty sure the E version is the British version, right? Because they're usually wrong about the English language. The Great Garrison, this game's version of the depths. The depths. Depths of what? See, it is spelled with an A here. How the hell did I get that wrong? The world is gray. The USA is gray. No, that's not correct, Tobo. It's always the one with the most T and the most foreign artifacts. Oof. Oof. You know, Germans really can't say that either, Katger. They can't really be accusing the British of uh, having the most foreign artifacts. <laughs> anyway. I don't think you heard that, which would be good. <laughs> anyway, so this is the Great Garrison, and as far as what this is, this is basically the end of uh, Act 1 for the most part. Um, this is just we're working through the garrison to get to see this big thing on the left-hand side. That's uh, Wardstone. This is what's been protecting the city from demons and that kind of stuff. And we're here to see what the hell's wrong with it and if we can fix it. Still think you have some after World War II losses? I think you do. I think you do. Oh, no, let's see story. No, 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 no. This is your brain is bricked again. All brains are bricked. Anyway, our cast of characters. We've got currently everybody's level five. Gimpy the Demon Slayer, which is a ranger. Um, he is chaotic evil. So that little black spot, that's what that means. Chaotic Evil. He's dual wielding an orc axe. Double, sorry, an orc double axe. Which is currently Finian. Finian, become any weapon you want. Determined by uh, whoever's holding it. So whatever, whoever's holding the weapon, who hol whoever's holding Finian, can, he can be changed into any weapon they can use. In this case, Gimpy is specializing in the, double, the orc double axe. So that's Gimpy, our leader. And then we have three uh, mercenaries and two story characters. Uh, two story characters this time around are Wendwag. Uh, she is a neutral evil mongrel fighter, specializing in bows, specifically short bows at the moment. And uh, why Wendwag? Because the first two playthroughs I did, she was not a part of it. We took Lan instead of her. It's a decision you make early on in the game. And this time around, because we're doing another evil run, uh, we decided to bring her along just to see what it's like. So, yeah. And then in our second slot, we've got Nenio. Same reasons. <laughs> First two runs, Nenio was played a very small part, um, and this time around, we're keeping those two in the in the pan in the in the group just to see how they interact with each other and the little comments and stuff they make. And Nenio, of course, as you can see, is a neutral human scroll savant. She's really a Kitsune, though, uh, but we won't find that out for a little bit while, a little bit longer. And she, scroll savants are wizards, and we're actually going to be working towards getting her to. Um, does it show up? Yeah, it won't show up here. Um, she's going to be a um, lore master, I think it is, the specialist uh, class. I think we're going to be working towards her lore master. I've never done a lore master before, so I'm curious to see how that works. And then our three mercenaries. Oh, look, it's Rocket. Lafanucho Kitsune. Sohei. Sohei is a monk. He's a mounted monk, actually. So he's got a little horse to ride, that kind of stuff. 
And uh, what's he going to be specializing in? He's a monk. He's probably going to be using... I think once he reaches level 6 or 8, I think, he gets to start using weapons like a monk. Um, I think we decided he's going to use a dueling sword because it's got um, weapon finesse attached to it. And uh, as you can see, he's dex-based. Then we have Mickey, Chaotic Neutral Kitsune, Battle Singer. Battle Singers are Scalds, kind of like a uh, bard type idea. Um, his weapon of choice currently is a rapier and a buckler, and of course his voice. And then last but not least, as far as the main characters go, is Veronica. She's a neutral evil half-orc. Seeker. Seeker is an oracle. Why the Seeker? Um... Her abilities give her... She's hellbound. She's a nature oracle, so she gets a pet. She's got a pet wolf, actually. We got there. Uh, oh, she's proficient, in, proficient with longbows. I didn't know that. Hmm. She's proficient with short bows, too. Hmm. Did not know that. <laughs> but she doesn't really have the strength, really, to take advantage of being proficient with, or to be using bows and stuff, because most of the bows are composite, and she actually takes a penalty to damage when she uses them. As far as trait skill, skill, intimidating. She's intimidating. Oh, it's a half orc thing. And da -da -da, precise shock. She's still going to be using crossbows because not weapon based and still takes a little bit of advantage of her dexterity. But other than that, why did we go Seeker? I always forget, I forgot this last week too. Why Seeker? I think she gets a, oh, she gets a bonus to trap finding. That's what it is. So, trickery, sorry, trickery. In addition to first level, she adds. In addition, at first level, Seeker adds half his Oracle level on trickery skill checks, plus one. So, as she levels up, she's getting a bonus to her trickery. So right now it's only plus two, and we'll see that right there. So there's her Seeker's trap fighting. So what does that mean? She's our basically our rogue type person. Now we do have other people that are capable of doing it. Like Mickey's at 14, but that's not going to be... He can, he's kind of like a backup right now. He's a pickpocket, so so he gets a little bonus. I mean, not really a bonus, but uh, a little bit higher. So he does well there. So yeah. So actually, technically, it's both of them doing the trickery stuff. It's just that her bonuses are going to be going up as she levels up. Like next level, she'll, be 50, she'll get a plus 3 instead of a plus 2. Well, his doesn't go up. Unless I don't think so, right? Traits. Visual. Yeah, I don't think the the pickpocket thing does it, right? He's got a bonus. Oh, he also has a, we actually, I think, we took it because uh, we took the pickpocket for the initiative bonus there. He does trickery, stealth, and then a bonus to initiative. So he doesn't actually get any bonuses to his skills. It's just stuff. Anyway, that's a cast of characters. And where are we again? We're in the Grey Garrison. We're actually, I think, ready to go into... We're really close to the end of the Grey Garrison. Yeah, we are. There we go. So, an occult symbol drawn in human blood. What does it mean? It means we go mobility. Oh, so I forgot to look at the pets. We, got to, we didn't go all, the, all through all the characters. Because we still have Bob. Bob is Veronica's pet wolf. He is a level 5 bully. Then we have Scout, a level 5 horse. That is uh, Rocket's horse, Scout. And then we have uh, Lelou Guru, who is Gimpy's pet wolf. As being a ranger, he gets a wolf. He's not... Oh, he is level 5. He did pick up the feet at level 5. So he needs a little bit of healing. But yeah, so we have two wolves and a horse. And the wolves are basically kind of like pack hunters. Because they both have tandem trips, so they're really good at tripping things. He needs to be healed, though. Our time has come. Spells left. Okay, so how are we doing with potions and stuff? Yeah. Okay, so everybody's good. We need more pets. 
We do. I totally agree we need more pets. So this is the ward stone. Prepare for things to happen. Okay, so on entering the chamber Hello, everyone. with just a second. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thanks for watching and happy Sunday. Okay, so upon entering the chamber where the vanquished wardstone resides, uh, the Crusaders could have expected many things, an ambush, deadly spells, or a horde of enemies, but not an em but not an empty hall, still and silent, with no Monago or her henchmen, only the obelisk and glimmering of light dancing on the dirty floor. But then again, all is not as placid as it seems. Gimpy once again hears the seething choir. This time the voices sound louder, more insistent, one step, another, and suddenly, Gimpy sees the wardstone not as it was a moment ago, but something completely different. It is no monolith emanating light, it is a cage made of pure energy. The place where Discari struck struck look uh, struck looks like the place where Discari struck looks like a festering wound from which tendrils of dirty red and purple darkness creep throughout the entire artifact. And there, inside two hosts of flaming warriors are locked in battle. One is light, the other blood red. But they are all waiting. For what? Harken on to the Light Warrior's words. Harken on to the Red Warrior's words. The Red Warriors speak of pain and lies and disillusionment. The words reveal the truth of the Wardstone. The barrier surrounding the world wound is built on the bondage and suffering of countless angels. Every injury dealt to the Wardstone, these angels experience as physical agony. The pain is driving them insane. Deceived by the hollow platitudes about duty and service, they suffer torment day after day for the sake of ungrateful mortals who do not even know their names enough. The Red Warriors know that their blades uh, now turned against their former brethren hasten the triumph of Discari and his servants. Once the Wardstone has been wholly conquered by corruption, it will become a deadly weapon under the demon's control. Some of the obelisk's uh, prisoners beg for freedom while others pray only for death but they all agree that this existence is unendurable. The crystal chisel uh, discovered in the ruins of Canabras is the perfect weapon for a massacre. It cannot force open the door for those who wish to escape, but it can't destroy the wardstone along with all its prisoners, willing and unwilling. None will be able to claim victory, but all will be gifted a merciful death that will end their suffering once and for all. The eyes of the, of the Aeon at, until now slumbering peacefully in the hero's soul awaken. They urge the hero to look upon the wardstone through them, the Eon's eyes wish to see. Look at the angels with the Eon's eyes. The eyes of the Eon pierce through the essence, matter, and time, and reveal the truth of the wardstones. The stones are just a, as much a uh, perversion of the world wound itself. The demons are not of this plane. But this did not give Iowa Day and the Herald, uh, Herald license to disrupt the, the balance still further by imprisoning untold numbers of angels in stone. A crime committed in the name of good does not offset those committed in the names of evil. It only multiplies the harm done to the cosmic order. Listen to the White, Lord, White Light Warriors. Light Warriors speak of duty, service, and sacrifice made. The words reveal the truth of the Wardstones. Each one contains a host of angels, volunteers from heaven, who committed to this indefinite imprisonment in order to guard at mortal kind from the demonic threat. They make no complaint. They ask no easing of their burden. If the goddess and the herald offered them the same choice again, they would consider it the ultimate honor to sacrifice their freedom for the cause. The angels know Descari's evil plan. When the last of the light uh, warrior falls, a Wardstone will become a deadly explosive that will destroy everything around it and the other obelisk in the chain will meet the same fate. The Light Warriors pray for, their, for help. They plead for someone to strike down their fallen brethren. Those who succumb to the demonic corruption are already beyond salvation. And if they are stopped, it will allow the Wardstone to heal and the Light Hosts to continue its duty. Crystal Chisel, uh, discovered in the ruins, is an ideal weapon for this task. It will cut uh, out the corruption along with those who have succumbed to it and restore the Wardstone's full power. Make a decision. There it is, the fate of two angelic hosts, faithful and fallen. 
and the fate of Canavras, perhaps even Al Mendev, now rests in the hero's hands, how will he proceed? Whatever this crystal chisel may be, its power is great indeed. It can destroy the so stone along with, all, along with all its inhabitants, or it can mend it by killing the angel defenders within. What it cannot do, alas, is free those who wish to escape and keep the stone intact for those who wish to remain. Eon's eyes perceive a solution to the goddess's tinkering, one that will cost no lives. One strike uh, with the crystal chisel at the perfect point and the stone's magic will be destroyed and all the angels will go to their rightful place, to heaven or to the plains of chaos and evil. The remnant of the Eon's power draws all that is left in the Eon's existence to the hero, urging him to purge, put things right. But somewhere deep in the, within the hero's soul, the familiar ire uh, sees endless rage, unbridled hatred. That will, What will happen if it is unleashed here at the stone? We're going the, we're going the demon route. Unleash the demonic fury. This stone, these angels, one side boasts of their own piety, the other, others whimper for their lost freedom. This smug goddess and her golden-winged herald who trapped them here. All this provokes only one thing to the hero, in the hero, rage. He beats his face against the hard surface over and over, paying no heed to the pain or to his blood trickling over the stone. One strike, then another, and the stone cracks like an egg. With a blinding flash, the stone splinters and turns to dust, hurling screaming celestials in every direction. They will be free, whether they like it or not. The Crusaders succeeded. The angel's battle within the ward stone has ended, and the threat to this to the entire chain of stones has been eliminated. Of course, uh, this was one, one no guarantee of safety for the future. What happened here can happen again. The Mendevians can no longer rely on Iomade's gift as once they did, but the danger has passed for now. Particles of the Eon's power preserved in the hero's soul dis dissipate. The servant of the universal order has done everything within their power. Power, even dead, the Eon continued to, to carry on their mission. Now the Eon can retreat into oblivion with a clear conscience. Henceforth, the doings of mortals are no longer the Eon's concern, no longer their responsibility. Dum dum dum. Uh, uh. Look, it's a movie. Look at them, Sucha. They're rejoicing like children. The storm is coming and none of them sees it. Shall we add to their festivities, my lady? How about a little lightning to burn their flesh? Oh no, Sucha. We'll leave such frolics to Discari's little gnats. We are here for something else. Something I have greatly anticipated for a long, long time. That's Gimpy laying on the ground right there. Sleeping on a job? Well, yeah. And Inferno, you thought mask making everyone free was this Eon's path, not demonic. It is the Eon's path. The thing is, is your choices are based on other stuff. So we went, we made a demonic choice. We could have made an angelic choice too. But the actual decision was put out there because of the Eon. Aeon, whatever. Okay, the blistering vivid memory releases you, and you return from the depths of the past to the present. You feel a fresh breeze on your face. The energy expelled from the wardstone has blown the roof off of the Gary Garrison. Wardstone's energy suffuses you, and through you. Uh, flows into your allies. What curious sensations. I feel myself being inflated with power like a balloon. 
Oh, how unscientific of me. I must investigate this phenomenon further. What... what are you doing here? How? Ah, I see. Tricks from your pathetic goddess. <laughs> so even Iomade will resort to dirty tricks when you have her cornered. Don't celebrate yet, mortal. There's no one to hide you from me now. How did Benago get here? She didn't ru doesn't rush into the chamber. She has been here the whole time, but some unknown spell had s stopped you and your enemies from seeing each other. Look, you're already wounded. Pathetic mortal. I'll have no trouble finishing you off now. <sighs> You'll die anyway. Saturday and Sunday, May 21st and 22 are the monthly giveaways for May. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about the giveaway. Thanks for watching. Yep, thanks for watching. Happy Sunday. And again, giveaways uh, next weekend. Happy birthday. Um, later. It's been delayed a little bit. Mrs. Gimpy's got some stuff she has to do for her parents this morning. So, a little bit later. Uh, let's see. Looking down, you notice the wound in your chest has opened up again and is bleeding as if you were hit by a sword. But there is no pain. All you feel is power filling you. Right before your eyes, the edges of the wound start to join and heal until it closes fully. Monago's face twists in frustration. Demoness looks formidable with her entourage around her, but her threats ring hollow to you now. You look at her and feel like a titan looking at an ant. Overwhelming. Uh, all conquering power fills you. What that little demon? Uh, what that little demoness? Uh, those irritating hordes of the abyss. The gods themselves are your only equals now. Oh, now we're going to have some fun. Well, well, fun for me. I don't know about you. I'll drag your eyeless hide to the length and the breadth of Canabras. Eh, we'll go chaotic. having more fun when I've got my claws in you. Your goddess sent you to die. You think that's a victory? All you've done is postpone the deaths of all the other mortals. And not even for very long. But your wait for death is over. You won't see what I'm going to do to your little friends, because I'm going to kill you right now. <laughs> And Mickey's not on, or Rocket's not on his horse. <coughs> Veronica. Um, bless, bless. Okay, rocket, get on your horse. And let's do key weapons so we get bonus to hits and stuff. And Forward. well, almost killed him. Oh, that's right. This is the fun part, right? Estimated time: uh, a couple hours. Jeff, a couple hours. Figure about uh, not before noon Pacific. Probably closer to one. That's my best guesstimate at the time. Mickey. Battle song? Here, five foot step going forward. I got this. Damn you. No? Are you still here? Now do the song. Demon's not happy. It's Lou. It's Lou. Get him, Lou. Trip. Kimpy. Start killing. Uh, when do it? 
Do the boomerang. Demons would not happy if we bit them in the toe. Well, they might, but probably not. Blaster with fire, or not. Wisdom. Oh, look at all the demons. I wish I had hasted. Paralysis. Put a good weapon buff on her just in case. Leave your dogs alone. Okay, rocket. Keep going. So much for the power helping there. Um, boost the hit points of the horse. Mickey. More singing. Well, that wasn't as good that time. Restricted at least. Give me. Sure, if we had haste on us already or not. Oh, look at her teleporting in our island. Ow. Think she likes to laugh? Let's find out. She likes to laugh. You pansy, get back in there and fight. Can't clear the grower because she's not unconscious, but. Badly injured, at least. Oh, and Rocket fell off the horse. Go scout. It's only her that's left. Why are you doing that? Where is your power coming from? All traces Benago's bravado have disappeared, and her now her voice trembles with panic. Her off. You'll have to step over my dead body first. Killing me won't be a challenge, I know, but I can last long enough to give her time to escape. Crusaders are right. You're a traitor. You always were. Maybe you're right, but you won't change your mind either way. So why waste my time trying to convince you? No matter what he does, no matter what he says, Staunton Bane will always be considered a traitor. Well then. 
Staunton Bane will finally be the traitor you've always wanted! Enough talking. Monago, cast your spells and get out of here! I'll hold him off! Quickly! Before I change my mind! No, my sweet. I won't abandon you. We'll leave this place together, and we'll go where we can be happy. Go! Let me finally... God damn it all! Let's go! Son clenches his teeth, swallowing the rest of his words. Panting, he looks between Monago and you and back again. The demon and the traitor vanish in mystical haze. You feel the energy thrumming through your body and your, and your soul start to fade. It doesn't leave you. It hides somewhere deep down, leaving behind a small amount of incredible energy, as well as the understanding that you will one day master that inconceivable huge power. Inconceivably huge power. See each other, not go, or maybe not. Oh, we will. Too bad our pets don't get mythic stuff. That would be awesome. Anyway, look, stuff on the ground. And of course, we're overweight. Dun, dun, overweight and descending. Change shirt 125, 50. Let's get rid of all these. There we go. Okay, well, let's do uh, some mythic stuff. So, give me the first. First rank of mythic powers. And we don't get to choose yet, but that's the ones we're going to be able to choose from currently. I don't think I've ever had Trickster before, but we're going Demon. But we gotta go with this one first. So, next. First Ascension. Bit of fun. Close to the abyss. Power from the abyss. Grow a pair of horns. Gaining a gore attack. This attack is made with minus five, pen minus five penalty. Deals 28 points. Plus one and a half times their strength modifier. Piercing damage. Counts as cold iron and magic for the purposes of overcoming, overcoming damage reduction. On second mythic rank, those characters uh, become closer to demons, gaining resist electricity 20 and an immunity to poisons. Demon kind. Force reality. Draw the power from law? No. Instrument of freedom. Feel it to unleash their, a bolt of energy from Elysium itself. Target foe. Touch range attack. Dun, dun. Bit of thought. No, we're going to do the Abyss thing. We're going to stick with the theme of being a demon. Do you think you see what everything is? It's just that one. Okay. It's a summon Babao. So, wow. Can we be able to do that at the second level one, huh? Works for me. Okay, what mythic ability should we do first? For Gimpy. Brutality incarnate. Wounds you inflict in with your natural attacks or anything but natural. Ah, uh, whatever. Enduring spells. Anything that lasts longer than an hour, but shorter than five, 24 hours, now lasts 24 hours. That one. Expose vulnerability. No, it's like, yeah, inspiration leader, last stand, each strike. Hmm. Mythical beast. Your annual, annual command is just as mythic as you. Yeah. Gains a bonus to strength, dexterity, and constitution equal to half your mythic rank plus one. Its attacks now ignore damage reduction and count as ghost touch weapons. Hmm. Uh, let's do the enduring spells first, because that's going to be a big deal for him, I think. Ranger buffs that last forever are nice. 
So endurance spells. I tire of waiting. Rocket. Rocket is a monk. So more key. That. With the powers and green boost, and it actually can enter it, but now I don't want to do that one yet. Boundless healing. Just heal. Don't do spells. Can we damage an ally? No, we don't want to do that one yet. Whenever you make an attack opportunity and a bonus on attack rolls of damage equal to your mythic rank. Expose vulnerability, it's range things, that stab, leading strike. Strike makes a weak points. Every time you hit a target in melee combat, you leave a mark on it. The next person who hits it does the divine damage equal to your rank or mythic rank. Up the dog or the horse, too. Mm. Equal to half your mythic rank plus one. So, right now, that would be two. Green strike first. One, only one ally can leave a mark on a target at a time. Other allies will leading strike ability do not deal additional damage to a marked target. Hmm. Yeah, we leave it strike. I feel like a chosen one. Mickey. Skull. So his he does uh, spell casting too. Right. He does buffs. So go the easy route and go endurance spells. Let us not hesitate. And Veronica. So either abundant casting or endurance spells. We'll do endurance spells first. Only you deserve my obedience. Okay, now a doggo. Or wind, windwag, sorry, windwag. So, range, or range attacks. So, we deal critical damage to range weapon. We start to cook now, do that one. Extracting shots. Range weapon attacks are dangerous enough for the enemy to forget about melee threats. If you hit an enemy with a ranged attack weapon, they receive a penalty to the AC against melee attacks equal to half your mythic rank for one round. Every third hit with a ranged weapon against the same enemy deals an additional 1d6 per two mythic ranks of divine damage. It's melee stuff. Every time you miss an enemy with a range attack, your aim approved, giving you a stacking plus one bonus. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Infernal. When you took the undead path all those months back, did your guy actually die? Eventually he becomes undead, if that's what you mean by dying. <laughs> eventually on, the, on the, uh, the lich path, you eventually do actually become undead. But much... Pretty uh, not until like Act Five or so, pretty far into the game. Anything new? Nenio, you are a spellcaster. Um, Send an Ellen. Now she doesn't. Her stuff is different. She's mostly going to be illusion stuff, right? Healing. During spells. I guess you should get those too. Because she does do buffs. Not a lot, but some of them. Mm. 
Yeah. Get him out of the way. Okay, no one else. So, first level of mythic stuff done. And rockets not on this horse anymore. Ready. Longsword stuff. Masterwork. Masterwork. I'm carrying a lot of crap. The wolves and the horse help, right? It's a party. Aren't your legs getting stiff? Way, you haven't moved in quite a while. For the Stretch, damn it! Whoa, you ignorant meatbag. And you considered mixing this little shindig, Beth? I did consider it, and I am still considering it. It hasn't even been a week since the last demon was booted out of Canaveras, and we really should be in a period of mourning for all the city's fallen. But the people deserve to celebrate. And he deserves to be honored for saving the city and possibly all of Mendev. Now we did together. If you want to get more praises on me, don't hold back. Now that's how you celebrate your achievements. <laughs> she toasts you with her tanker. According to the watch reports, there has been no demon activity whatsoever outside Canalthus. I get the feeling the fiends are as shocked by what happened as we are. What happened in the garrison? What you did? It was a miracle. I truly believe that the gods remembered us and decided to intervene. Beth, come on, you agreed. No serious business today. All right, all right, I'm done. No more. <laughs> Who would have thought we'd be celebrating a successful attack on the Grey Garrison, our own fortress, and that we'd blow the roof off the place? It's simply unforgivable. Comes a cheerful voice of someone sitting at the far corner of the table. While we're on the topic of the roof, there's already a rumor going around that you have been blessed by Iomade herself, and it was her power granted to you that destroyed the garrison's walls and roof. And it turns out, the people want a little piece of that blessing for themselves. The townsfolk are gathering chunks of the garrison's rubble as souvenirs and talismans. And I'm sure they'll hit the black market soon enough. Oh, yeah. Here, breathe on this for me. For good luck. We need all the luck we can get. Nice. I'll put it on display at home. Or maybe I'll make a hole in it and wear it as a pendant. Nevi! What are you on about now? What do you mean? Do you see many people at this table who've been personally blessed by Ayumade herself? Well, a couple perhaps. The same earth of voice that joined in before. Ayomade's blessings are not conveyed through stones, and as public officials, we really shouldn't. Airbeth looks at the end of the table where the voice originated, and her eyes widen as her words trail off. I feel a little chastened after what you said about public officials, but I myself have acquired a few pieces of stone and also wish to ask our hero to breathe on them for good luck. So, what now? Are you going to toss me out of this fine establishment? The woman dressed in unshowy finery raises her eyebrows. Your, your Majesty. Yes. It is I. I made the journey here to deduct the cost of repairing the garrison roof from your salary. We have not been introduced. Galfrey of Mendev. And tricks to the queen at our table. I was most keen to see the savior of Canabras with my own eyes. Why not come share your table in a cozy tavern? Your Majesty, we were just... I'll have them arrange... Calm yourself, Commander. 
I deliberately came here without any fanfare because I did not wish to draw attention away from our honored hero here. My personal guard and the force I brought with me are standing watch outside the city. I ordered all your sentries to stand down. They also deserve a break. Every person who tirelessly fought to save Canabris will enjoy themselves today. And my reinforcements will ensure peace and order. I need to get some rest. We're here celebrating while the demons might be planning their next campaign. Oh, I do not doubt that, even for a moment. But we will not give them another chance to catch us off our guard. It is time to turn back the tide. Your Majesty, my dear cousin. Count, I admit I was surprised to learn that you valiantly joined the ranks of the city's defenders. Pleasantly surprised. I live to please you, my queen. My first thought when Daskari cruelly robbed us of noble Terendelev and half of Canabras' crusaders in one fell swoop was of you, my queen, and of how these events would weigh heavily on you. No one could have foreseen the demon attack, and we have so successfully held the defense here for four heroic crusades. I'm going to drown him in the nearest well this very night. I value your dedication and your eloquence. I hope you will continue to aid our soldiers. Not a chance. You know that I am not made for the front lines. Excellent, Bash. But alas, I really must go. Important matters to be getting on with. A new shipment of wine from Kionin and three beautiful creatures of the same provenance. But I will most assuredly come to say my farewells before your army departs on its campaign, which, wherever it may lead you, will undoubtedly be crowned with victory. I shall hold you to that count. And now allow me to devote some time to the hero of the evening. I did not come here solely to give you this chance to celebrate. But all serious discussions and official announcements can wait until tomorrow. I have big, big plans for all of you. Especially for you. But I want to keep you in suspense for a little while longer, so I shan't say another word. Let us mark this victory. My first toast is to you, the hero of Canabras. Now, what are we drinking? We're drinking the drink called Say My Friggin' Name. Say my name, I dare you. The fires of Canabris have died down. Now the army's path leads to the walls of Dresden, a fallen citadel that the Crusaders have been trying in vain to reclaim for 70 years. The new piece on the board might give their efforts some added momentum. Welcome to Act Two. Set him next to Nerebeth, the hero who saved Canabras. The queen is coming. The queen. Everybody kneels like morons. Rise, warriors. Today is a day of sorrow and pride. Sorrow because we weep for our brothers and sisters who perished in Canabras. Pride because despite demonic treachery, our heroes repelled the attack and saved the city. I... Queen Golfrey of Mendev, declare this day the first day of the Fifth Crusade. And I am glad to introduce the one who will lead the attack on the forces of the Abyss. The hero of Canabris, Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade. Your leader from now unto victory or death. Yay! And now it's time to rest. Everyone is dismissed. Hey, look, we're dismissed. There. The troop review is finished. I'll give you some time to look around the camp, and then I shall expect your presence at headquarters. But... How much do I get paid? 
How much are they paying me for this job? Oh, that's right. Nothing. Commander, please allow me to join you while you inspect our encampment. Is that AD? I didn't quite catch his name. I know, I didn't catch my name either. Oh, he leveled up. Okay, quick thing. I'm going to change the title of the stream real quick. Because we're technically in Act 2 now. Okay, so that. And just a slight update on the stream schedule today. Um, we're supposed to be doing Mika and Rocket's uh, birthday se 15th uh, birthday birthday celebration today. Um, Mrs. Gippy unfortunately has Hello to go out and do some stuff with her parents. My Just name is second. Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. Damn it. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also follow Gimpy over on Twitter at Gimpy Knee. He tweets out there when he goes live and will more than likely follow you back. Thank you for watching. Yep, thanks for watching. Happy Sunday. As I was saying, uh, Mickey and Rocket 15th birthday uh, celebration has been put back a couple of hours today. Hopefully, Mrs. Gimpy will be back in a couple hours and we'll pick it up then. If she doesn't get back, if she comes back and she's not uh, up for it because she's supposed to be doing some uh, work with her parents and stuff, um, we will just uh, get it done tomorrow or, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, it's really dependent on how she feels when she gets back. And, uh, so it might be happening later, day, later today in a couple of hours or we'll just put it off until tomorrow. Anyway, we should know more shortly. Okay, let's set that. I guess we don't really need this, do we? I can go over here. That's a buff. Level six. So, Gimpy, the Ranger Demon Slayer. Level six picks up uh, some more spells, it looks like, maybe. Or not. Combat style feet. Already got that stuff. Skill points. Two weapon combat, so prove two weapon fighting. Double slice. Major strength bonus damage rolls made with your offhand weapon. It's probably a good thing. But you get a second attack with your offhand weapon. Yes. Spell book. Nothing new. So Boo. And then Lou. Lou gets leveled up. It's bully. And that's easy enough. Pretty else. Mm. So Nenio next. So Nenio again is working towards the lower master. So she needs one of the following feature skill focus. Arcane or not our world. That would be world. But it's a feat, right? Which we won't get this level. Okay, two level two, three spells. Um, she has fireball and haste so far. And to spell magic and resist energy are in her spell book, but they cost the two slots to use because of reasons. Um, illusion stuff. It's deep slumber. Affects 10 hit dice of targets. Now that's going to disappear real quick. 
Greater magic weapon. Heroism, all person. Um, Matter blast is bad. Blink is a good way to save yourself. So tank of damage rolls plus one for four, four per four caster levels. So right now that would just be plus one until you get level eight, then it's plus two. Lot of stuff. Doesn't allow bypass damage reduction. Heroism. It's Mickey. Yeah, good blank. She she's a wizard, so she can learn a bunch of spells. I think just pay a little bit of money for them, good to go. When do? Actually, do we, let's see, you can snapshot, it's a bonus combat feat, hmm. yeah, do the snapshot, this is basically like an overwatch, tax opportunity with a ranged weapon, stuff. So trickery is up to plus 15. Yeah, to plus 3, so. Ah, level 3 spell for her. Archon's Aura. Oh, she's going to get Curious Wounds automatically. Delay poison. That one first, please. And this is Bob. This is uh, Veronica's pet. Because she leveled up, so so does he. And all he's getting skill points. That's stuff. And then we have Mickey. There's our Scald. Battle Singer, so he's picking up Song of Strength. He's rage use Raging Song to inspire his allies to superhuman feats of strength. While the Scald uses performance, allies within 50 feet who can hear the Scald may add half the Scald's level to all strength-based skill checks. Also gets Rage Powers. So it's Rage Power. Animal Fury. Animal Raging keeps a bite attack. He already has a bite attack. Ah, Beast Totem. Celestial. Oh, we've never seen these before. We've never seen these before. Guarded Stance, Lethal Stance, Powerful Stance. Bigger Scent, Swift Flip. So, what do the Totems do? So, he gains two claw attacks. But he can't be using weapons, right? Celestial. Whenever the barbarian is subject to a spell or a non-spell non -spell healing effect that cures hit point damage, he shields one additional point of damage per her character level. This does not affect fast healing or regeneration. Hmm. Demon. So, while raging. Plus two bonus on saving throws against acid damage, death effects, disease, and poison. This bonus increases by one for each demon totem rage power the barbarian has, excluding his own. This one, excluding this one. Or fiend totem. 
A raging the barbarian grows a pair of large horns, gain a gore attack. This attack is primary attack. Da da da. Deals 20 points of piercing damage plus the strength. He's not a strength person. What else do we get uh, on the celestial totems? Is there any way to look this stuff up? Celestial totems. Our this effect grants a halo of gleaming light that shines over as daylight triggers an invisibility purge effect in the barbarian square and each adjacent square. The invisibility purge only affects non-good creatures. Greater version. Gain spell resistance equal to 11 plus the class level against spells with evil sub evil descriptor. She also gains a plus two bonus on all saving throws against spells and effects from evil creatures. Mm hmm. Select more than one from one group of totem rage powers right now, right? Selects a beast totem rage power, cannot choose later choose any of the dragon totem. There are no dragon rage totems though. Or totems, whatever. Right? So bonus to AC. Increase by plus one for every four levels. A greater one. Make a full attack at the end of a charge. Mm. Not gonna be doing a lot of charging though. We do lethal stance. Gain sensibility while raging. Can use its ability to locate unseen foes. Detect within 30 feet by sense of smell as if it had blind sense. Switch foot. Mm -hmm. Let's do evil stance. Okay, level 2 spell. Or he has heroism and blur. Or for target to act and uh, concentrate. He can already do the rage thing on his own. Scare, vitals, mm. sound burst. Defecation's not enchantment. Gates, each save each round. That's an easy save to make with no difficulty, right? Yeah, that's vitals. Okay, next. Rocket. Or monk. So at level six. It's a monk bonus feat. It's key power and weapon training. So at level 6, gains weapon training in one of the following weapon groups as a fighter class feature, bows, blah blah blah, spears and throwing weapons. You may select an additional group of weapons for every 6 levels. Okay. 
Arc again. Scorching Ray. Sudden Speed. Two Strike. During another monk's next single attack roll, that's maybe for another one, gains plus two insight bonus. See, he is not affected by the mischance that applies to attackers trying to strike a concealed target. It's only one thing, though, right? Yeah. His next attack. Okay, it's bonus feet. Blind fight, crane, deflect arrows, disarm, dodge, initiative, mounted shield. So what's this do? Add your base shield bonus, including the blah to your mount's AC. He does the shield. It's very good charge. When mounted and used in the charge action, you deal double damage with melee weapons. But you only get one swing when you do that. Trample. Trample enemies while riding your mount. If the trample is successful. Stuff. Trip. Um, Initiative. We should have blind fight. Eh, blind fight first, actually. We know we're going to run into those things. So, weapons. Bows, crossbows, monk weapons, pole arms, spears. Look up no regular weapons. Talk to the quarter staff and sigh. He's pushing enclave. Come mm, uh, uh, regular swords and stuff is in here. So you already have it. Oh, here he has the weapon. Already has some regular weapons. How's his train now? Cavern, long spear, short spear, spear. None of that stuff is finesse weapons. Monk weapons are, though. Yeah. Hey, Ring. Just in time to watch me screw up Mickey or Rockets. Yeah, so we've just made level six. So the horse doesn't level up? Oh, there it is. Scout. Panel companion. Stuff. Stuff. Picked up dueling sword for tri for this. Rye. But it wasn't an option. So, I mean, there was no choice for it that stuff, though. There's no point whatsoever to pick weapons. But there was no... So what was I supposed to pick? Because swords weren't in there. There was no choice of swords. It was everything but.
swords weren't a choice. Long, long blades wasn't there. <laughs> That's the thing is, long blades weren't there. I have no problem doing it again. Because again, Long Blades wasn't there. I oh, know, I, I understand. I understand. But look. So, level six, monk. Bark skin. And hey, Gimpy, have you hydrated Blind lately? Try. If not, you bows, really should. crossbows, monk weapons, pole arms, spears, and thrown weapon. Hey, freight, freight board, welcome back. My swords is to take weapon training as a fighter for long blades and the Sohei bonuses to will apply to a non Sohei. Oh really? Is that how it works? So you actually have to do it as a fighter. Oh look at those no skin oh no, we don't have that. So when does he get the that ability though? You know, he doesn't pick it up until level four, five though. Or does he pick it up here? So that well then, because again, even as a fighter, he's not going to pick it up until level five, a fighter, right? Weapon training. So you can get flurry with them. Lots of good bar use. Yeah, I know that. Not train. Oh, it's. Now this says weapon training. That specifically says weapon training there. Is that the wrong word that they put on there? Because that specifically says weapon training. Or is weapon training farther down? After mission savings. There's no weapon training here. Take it on, get it, and it leaves you your, your mount behind. That's right, too. We don't want to do that. Ah. <sighs> Oh, I thought no, 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 no. I didn't. No, I didn't think that's what that was going to do. I thought that was just something we needed to take in order to get the weapon training portion, but not true. Okay, so slight change of plans. <laughs> I mean, we're still going to do this, um, but uh, we'll do is. Uh, Blind fight. Let's go pole arms. I mean, he won't get it. The problem is he won't get his dexterity stuff. 
Because they're not finesse weapons. We have to change his build in order to do this. Yeah, that's what we have to do. In order for this to work, he has to be respect into strength. Because this won't work It's current uh, dexterity build. Because the whole idea originally was to do finesse weapon, a finesse sword, specifically the dueling sword, and pick up the weapon and then pick it up here so it gets all the, the monk stuff to go with it. But that's not going to work, so we have to respect him. Let's move already. Where's what's his face? Jeff, there's guns. Actually, let's uh I actually want to go full arms too. Stuff. I was trying to use the person. Bulk selling all the junk. For now. Yeah, I was surprised not. I was surprised that it wasn't there. I mean, why would swords be excluded? <laughs> I mean, everything else is there. So why did they exclude it? And where's Mr. Uh, Respecker here? Oops. Ah, there you are. I honestly don't care. I'll be but uh, you don't intrigue me. Not in the way you obviously had in mind. But you are a valuable companion. And you should have stayed. You could have stayed in my party. You know, I would like it if you stayed. You intrigue me too. You, know, you don't belong here. Uh, so you can get a future to get to know you better. You can throw a banquet, blah, blah, blah. I'll be but you don't intrigue me. You, me, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Don't care. Move out! So there's not being there makes sense. Nah. Did they tell me where what's his face is on this map? Can we even respect her? Should be able to, I would think. There's the queen. Hotplay, Nera, Sosyonk, Airbath. Even money. I show up after you finish the Spectre Camp. There. Yeah, I haven't seen him yet, so. Let me do all of that. that. Okay, well, let's, uh. It's Terror Blade's tent. Nura. Also pictures, okay. So what do you do? She's just telling the story. See this flask. Give me a sip too to her majesty's health. She rubs her forehead with the palm of her hand. Commander, are you sure this is the right way to train your soldiers? Never mind, it's your business. <laughs> she's the one drinking and she's telling uh, whatever. I'm trying to say this is the right way to train your soldiers. Field medic. Be 
gives me in the chapel, right? Properly fueled is or fluid is important. That's why burn always reminds you on that. I know. That's I agree. My socio was getting all uppity because we were joining in the revelry. I don't know why she would do that. Give me the long road. Saturday and Sunday, May 21st and 22 are the monthly giveaways for May. A $25 Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about the giveaway. Thanks for watching. Yep, thank you for watching. Happy Sunday. And again, uh, giveaways are next weekend. So... So he's not out here right now. At least there was no place I saw. So we get through. Uh, I'm losing my temper. To level up. Get this done. So Gimpy, do this again. Two level combat. Improve two level fighting. That's enough. Woo. Uh, battery blast and oh, shape link. Come on, you pansy, get back in there and fight. I am fighting. Lindu. Fighter. Snapshot. Snapshot really doesn't work until we've got outflank on everybody, right? Or does it? Certain squares within your melee reach. You can attack for opportunity with that range weapon. No. Been chopped in. Eh, more arrows. And Veronica. More seeker. And to like wait for me all these. Bob levels up, gets a Veronica leveling up. Mickey, Mr. Scald. We already decided we didn't take uh, those, we want legal stats this time around. Spells, but sets vitals. Okay, a rocket. So still take there. Oh, we're gonna be respecting him, but get this out of the way.
Scout, more scout, there's scout. Okay, so we've done our basic labs, right? Don't really need to talk to anybody, I think. Okay. Now the queen greets you with the stare. She has dropped the pompous air through which she has just announced the fifth crusade, the face of the ruler. Mendev appears calm and thoughtful. She has made her move and now awaits her opponent's reply. Commander, I am satisfied with the troop review, but I do not expect they will be sufficient for the task. You will have to prove yourself a shrewd leader and hire the necessary troops with the provided funds. I have chosen a target for your campaign, and that target is Dresden our lost outpost within the world wound. The Sword of Valor was kept there, a banner that was once carried by Iomade herself. Our greatest relic was lost when the city fell. I should make one thing clear from the start. The Sword of Valor is no mere symbol, but a powerful weapon against demons. The holiness of the banner weakens them and robs them of one of their most dangerous abilities, teleportation. A forced march to Dresden awaits you. The Sword of Valor is kept somewhere within the Citadel. The demons probably think it's a hunting trophy. Its recovery is just as important as retaking the city itself. I hope the task is clear. I'm sending two specialists to help you, along with the soldiers. A historian, Nura Dendewar, and a cleric, Sozial Vainik. She nods to the human man and the young halfling woman standing next to her. Sort of Valor, is she not talking about the sword that was misplaced? No. One of the famous inquisitors of the Church of Iomade also wants to talk to you. The Honorable Leota, whom everyone calls Hawkblade. The Sword of Valor actually isn't a sword. I do not wish to keep you, Commander. The matter I must discuss with you is extremely important, but it is not directly related to the Crusade. You no doubt wish to meet your new comrades and speak with Her Majesty. Therefore, I shall leave you now, but I ask that you seek me out in the camp at your earliest convenience. Hi! Listen, it's amazing here. It's like I'm in a ballad. There's knights in shining armor, deadly dangers, glorious feats. We are going to show those demons! I'm so tired of sitting in a library reading books about history. It's time I took part in it! <laughs> When is a sword not a sword? When it's hacking your neck, or when it's swinging through your neck, or I'm glad to help piercing your skull. Commander. If you have some time later, I'd like to speak with you further. You'll have plenty of time to talk. You're the Knight Commander's people now, his trusted advisors and companions. Now then, will you please leave us? Erebeth, you can go too. We met at Defender's Heart. I never imagined you'd make me the commander of the new crusade. Some actions may be deemed bold, or even extreme, and beyond those, there are some you might call the Queen's last resort. I am not a simple monarch. I am at war with the Abyss, a war which has lasted over a hundred years. I cannot allow myself the luxury of caution. In you, I see a chance, and I am willing to stake everything on it. <laughs> Just a second. I forgot. Dogs. They're sleeping. This is how Mickey and Rocket spend their birthday. Right there. Just like every other day. However, you cannot blame me for putting you in charge of the crusade. I only formalized what had already happened in the hearts and minds of many. People spoke of the power that descended upon you and helped you save the Wardstones from corruption and total destruction. Word of this feat quickly spread far beyond the borders of Mendev. There was no other person who could better fit the role of Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade. So she says. I ask her about missions to retake Dresden. Of course. I shall answer. How did the demons manage to conquer Dresden? That's a good question. Its walls were built by dwarf craftsmen, and the power of the Sword of Valor protected the city. Alas, 
Where raging hordes failed, a single lying tongue was all they needed to succeed. The demoness Minago convinced a young and ambitious crusader named Staunton Vane that the banner belonged on the battlefield. He went on a daring and unapproved raid, and the banner ended up in the enemy's hands. The city fell soon after. Ever since then, for seven decades, it has served as a citadel for the forces of the Abyss. How can you tell, Jeff? You can't see their faces. You don't know how old they are. They could be like one, two years old. Something vain, I saw him at the garrison, deflected to the demon. He defected oh, really? the demon side. I wasn't informed of this. After Dresden fell because of Staunton, he was nearly sentenced to death. He deserved it. In wartime, men are hanged for far less. But you have no idea what a terrible sight it is. A raging crowd of crusaders baying for blood. Never have my fighters looked so much like the demons we are fighting. I commuted Staunton's sentence and stripped him of his rank. Not just for him, but for my army and my country. We are not Hell Knights. We do not maintain discipline with public executions. I can't believe no one decided to punish him unofficially. Not in my army. I know all too well that the armies of some kingdoms tolerate Aren't your legs getting stiff? Beatings, and you haven't murder. moved in quite Their a while. Commanders imagine it brings Stretch damn it. Together you ignorant meatbag. Anyone who tries to introduce such rules in Mendev will face a tribunal, along with anyone who tries to shield them, even upper command. What forces are at my disposal? Everyone we saw today at the parade. First among them, the Eagle Watch, who remain a powerful force thanks to Erebeth's resourcefulness. Also marching with you are several minor knightly orders, as the minor volunteer units like to be called. And finally, I have personally selected some recruits from Nerosian. They have little in the way of battle experience, but great determination and a thirst to prove themselves. I've always thought that an army benefits from at least one such unit. These forces, as I said, are not enough for a march on Dresden. You will have to hire additional troops with the funds that have been provided to you. But for a brave commander, and I hope you are one, that is just the beginning. If you retake Dresden, recover the holy power of the Sword of Valor, and gain a foothold in the region, then new armies will join under your banner. The Fifth Crusade is only beginning. Many battles and victories lie ahead. It's been decades, and no one has managed to retake the city. Why do you think we're different? We have a chance now that we haven't seen in decades. But it's more than that. You created this chance for us by foiling the demon's plans in Canabris. The army who attacked the city came straight from Dresden. Demon hordes from the Abyss are usually encamped there, but many of them perished on the streets of Canabris. We must attack swiftly before they can restore their forces. When the city is free and the Sword of Valor appears before our soldiers, they won't be sending in any more reinforcements. Demons cannot teleport into an area protected by the Banner of the Goddess. What about long-term goals? Do you know how to get rid of the war world in forever? Now you are talking like a real Knight Commander. However, answering your question is not easy. I know the answer. To win this war, we must bar the demon's way. There are a few planar rifts uh. leading to the abyss across the territory we call the World Wound. The best specialists we could find have tried to close them on separate occasions, with no success, as you may have guessed. Give me a few million experience points, we can end this today. The World Wound is more just than just a it. chain of portals to the abyss. We do not understand its nature yet. The methods of rift closure known to magical science simply do not work here. However, we have a hypothesis, and a rather well-grounded one, that we must begin at the source of the problem, the place where the world wound was opened. The main rift lies through the city of Iz and the Threshold Fortress, deep in the former lands of Sakoris. We have never managed to fight our way so far and gain a foothold to allow the mages to explore the origins of the world wound. So, the next step, after you succeed in Dresden, is an offensive push deeper into the world wound, with the aim of reaching threshold, the very threshold of the abyss. So, do you think it's proper for me to correct her pronunciation of mages? She said mages. It's mages. 
Doesn't she know better? She's a queen, damn it. Wonderful. Okay, did you know about the soul the souls of the angels that from heaven are confined in did you know that the souls of angels from heaven are confined in a word stone? I had guessed as much. Many angels fought alongside us in the First Crusade. Heaven was unable to mobilize its full might to aid us, but individual celestials volunteered to fight for our cause. Then one day, they all vanished, saying that they were setting off on an important mission. Not long after, Iomade's Herald erected the first ward stone in Kenobris, and then the others in cities across Mendev. Even back then, I had nagging doubts. But my faith in Iomade easily assuaged them. It is for us to serve the goddess, after all, not to question her works. Uh, she said it right. I was wrong. Not true. She's over 100 years old. Maybe it used to be pronounced that way. Uh, maybe she got hit in the head one too many times. So I'll accept that as, a, as an answer. In any case, I am glad you did not allow the demons to commit sacrilege and gain control over the Wardstone in Canopris. We might have lost one of the Wardstones, but the chain is still standing. You know what? I bet she'd pronounce it correctly if you turned her into an undead queen. That would work probably better. You should know I received an unusual gift in caves um, in Canabras. I have an envision of the death of an angel called Lariel. Somehow he was a uh, gift. Grant me the ability to reveal the light of heaven. Larry, Come on, I knew you him. pansy. Get back in there and fight. before the world wound grew and Dresden fell into the enemy's hands. In the chaos, we had more important concerns than investigating the fate of a single angel. Even one so righteous and beloved as Lariel. And afterward, matters took a turn for the worse. The angels left us to go on their special mission. It is so strange to hear the names I used to hear when I was young. Like getting a message from the past. It is sad news, but it brings me back to the times when we strongly believed in our victory, and we rushed headlong toward it without fear. Could it be that such times have come again? And what are you going to do? Overlooking a spot of insubordination just at the moment. However, I shall answer you. I shall prepare the defenses at Nerosian and all the other border cities and plan the future of the Fifth Crusade. Does that satisfy your curiosity, Knight Commander? Thank you for your reply. Of course. Splendid. Ah, yes. We have one final matter to attend to. It should be rather enjoyable. Lies. Count, there you are. You received my instruction? I did, though I did not have time to read the thing before I was dragged before your majesty. In truth, I was readying myself to depart. No matter. I trust you will forgive your sovereign for the rather brusque summons, especially when you learn what prompted it. As you are aware, he has recently been appointed my Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade. I spent a long while pondering whom to appoint to the highly sensitive post of Commander's Field Attaché and Advisor Plenipotentiary without portfolio. Congratulations, Count. Hey, Captain Zuri, welcome back. How'd the Great Garrison go? Uh, it went really well. I was kicking the crap out of Minago before she ran away. Probably the, the best fight I've had against her. It is a great honor, I suppose. That's a great idea. What a wonderful gesture, Your Majesty. I imagine our dear Count would have been inconsolable if you hadn't given him this chance to serve the common cause. Very chaotic of us. I knew you would approve, Commander. She shows a smile on you, then brings her gaze to rest on Darren once more. I had my doubts about whether you were ready for such a responsibility, Count. But your conduct in Kenobris has put my mind at ease. So... You will travel with the troops to Dresden. Only the commander may remove you from your post. But I trust that you will dutifully fulfill his orders and make a good showing of yourself. 
especially since word of your appointment, Count, will reach the court at any moment. All of Mendev's nobility will be following your successes in service to the nation, including all of your devoted admirers. I even heard that one bard with whom you are particularly friendly has already begun composing a ballad to honor your heroic participation in the crusade and your faithful service to the commander here. Your largesse truly knows no bounds, dear cousin. I am most, most gratified by the honor you have shown me. Then let's get going. May Ayomade help us. Dum -dum. Okay, so that's done. So now we are, so we're gonna go find uh, what's his face to uh, respect uh, Mickey. No, sorry, Rocket. Rocket needs to respect. People move. There it is. Hi, Lore. Okay, so we need to respect uh, Rocket because stuff. You know anything about a Pathfinder named Finny and Dismar? That's our sword. Air Malata. La. Don't worry, competitions with the Spinner of Nightmares. I need help. Whatever. Stuff, 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 stuff. Which influence Crusaders did you save from this? More stuff. So much reading. Talk about this later. Mm, train. It's time to fight a tree recharge, so it's just rocket. So we, we're redoing rocket because uh, we thought he was going to be dexterity based at first, but unfortunately uh, it's not working out correctly based on the Sohei feats and stuff. There's rocket. So it's gonna be monk. So hey, male. Sume. And it's dirty. No, but penalty was strength. No, it doesn't really matter, does it? Dex gets. What do we want to do with him? Charisma? New charisma thing, we can do the fear thing. Maybe. Yeah, we'll do charisma. And he was what? Shit. Um. See them. It was the pickpocket, right? I think. Yeah, because we wanted the initiative rolls for him. Being up on the horse. Okay, so. The strength. Oof. That. Doesn't need the dexterity so much. I can't get above 16 strength anyway. Sure. 
sure this will be fine. Okay, for him, trickery ability and persuasion. You can make you a 13. There's a 13, so it goes there. Ability that's a deal. Trickery. Cammy and Veronica and Mickey. Oh, Mickey's got trickery too. Well, maybe Rocket wasn't the trickery person. We don't have an athletics person, do we? Let's get a scout, little Jeff. Oh, Mickey's athletics. There's Rocket. So he wasn't the trickery person. Do a world one. Nah, he doesn't do anything interesting in the world. Could be a cook, though. Nah, that's not the same. Um, nature. Definitely has to do mobility. He was perception. Okay. Persuasion. That's an additional one. Okay. I think that'll work. Maybe. He was a stealth person, wasn't he? He was stealth. So no stealth. Actually, with his uh, that change, he doesn't need to be a pickpocket. He can be something more useful. Oh, we saw we still got the initiative roll there. Mesas, armor. Persuasion to list of nine. She also gains plus two bonus stunt. It's bonus eight to skill checks. That's okay. Necromancer. Plus one bonus on saving throws against demons. Perception and nature. Mobility, perception, and persuasion. It's all class skills or close enough. Okay, weapon focus. Uh, I say we go straight into glaives. Why not? And our companion, we want a black horse. And a monk bonus feat. We want. Mounted combat. Ability checked in to negate a hit. Yes. A deity. Yeah, doesn't really matter. Um,
perfect human. And he can be lawful neutral. Yeah. Body type. Doesn't think it matters, does it? Skinny, fat, not so fat. There, the face. So how much do we want it to resemble the real rocket? That one's kind of closer to his portrait. How come they never have brown as a eye color? In a scout report? Uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. That looks like rocket, right? I think it does. Human I'm stuff. Always ready. What I kind of forgot is uh, as close colors. Forgot about this. Totally made a change in those clothes. Hello, Gimpy. Uh -oh. It is time to take a break. Go check on the dogs. A mere flesh wound. Yes, that Your was his dinner break time. Is in look. two hours. This is my path. Let's hear you cry. Beautiful. Are you still here? No, that was Mickey's, right? Uh... We cannot be defeated. My skills exceed yours. I have no use for this. I'll take care of it. We do it my way. I shall not falter. Strike as one. That sounds like Rocket. Okay, so. Rocket. Everyone in the group has the same birthday, by the way. Together we stand. Complete. complete here? Damn it. Picked up by the pound of animal control, I wish. We can't stop here? I wish we could stop here. Anyway, I'll try to get this through this as fast as possible. Dun, dun, dun. Um, Domitable mount. Turn around when your mount fails a saving throw, you can make an ability check. Your mount makes a and save if your mobility check, er, mobility check result is greater than DC of the combat's attack. Um, shh, don't watch combat reflexes. Oh yeah, hit that first. Wishful thinking, being picked up by the, by the pound, probably. The thing is, is Mrs. Gimpy was supposed to do the scout report today. Question is, uh... So... Okay, so we're gonna do power attack. The thing is, is she's still over at her parents' house, and I don't know when she's gonna be back. Should we just... I guess I can do this scout report. Strength? Strength. Your opponent still she's here. Yeah, the thing is, I don't know when she's going to be here. That's the problem. Great resistance, mobility, and fierceness from the blessing of these great beings. While using the style, you need plus two bonus on saving throws against sleep, paralysis, fly. Or you can add one that have time to your strength bonus on damage rolls for your first unarmed strike. Now we're going to be doing unarmed strikes, right? Oh, we can cleave. Outflank. Is anybody 
nobody else has outflank right now. Hmm. It doesn't do spells. Hmm, what should we do? Outflank? Can't remember if I got outflank right away with these two. Not a bad idea. Think, uh, let's see, the horse should be able to pick up a feat because I know the, the wolves get the uh, feats already or team stuff. So, what's the requirements? Oh, base attack bonus of four. I think we had to wait if I remember right on the outflank thing. Go cleave. Because we're going to want the other things too. Okay, defensive speed, hammer blow, leg sweep, shattering punch. Yeah, that's good for him. Number five. Oops. Mark skin. Mount fails a saving throw, you make a mobility check. Yes. I like that. Okay, so pole arms. When a fighter attacks with a weapon of this group, he gets plus one of bonus attack and damage rolls. So pole arms. And mythic rank. Uh, for him, we did as the monk. What do we do for the monk? Leading strike? We did the leading strike. We did the mythical beast. Once per round, when your melee attack misses the target, you deal 2d6 plus one. The crank sonic damage to all enemies at 10 foot radius. Yes, let's do that first. Okay, so. We keep. Sorry, rocket. Rocket now needs a glaive. So we've got the dark horn. It's only cold iron plus one. Sell this stuff. So the marching terror. Plus one glaive lands a hit on a new enemy for the first time. Target receives 1v6 negative energy damage. And all other enemies at 15 foot radius must pass the will saving throw or become frightened for one round. This is only plus one though. It's not uh, cold iron like the dark horn is. It for the glaze, there's those two. Just regular cold iron. So again, they're both plus ones. Yeah, we'll take uh, the dark horn for now. So he gets three swings with that monk stuff. Okay, that'll work. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, break time. So, and we'll skip the scout report until Mrs. Gimpy gets back. Hopefully, she gets back soon. Again, I don't know when she's she's supposed to be back in like in within the hour, but we'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. We'll see. Anyway, and uh, get up, stretch my legs, get some water, that kind of thing. I'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you all very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video. Thank mm -hmm. you.